See this little guy right here? This white wire with the wire nut on top, nothing connected to it, is the reason for the majority of the controversy out of all of my wiring on this project board. Why did I do that? I'm gonna explain and convince you why you should do it too. Coming up. This switch currently controls this top receptacle. You can see when I put it up, it turns on the light. The bottom one is hot all the time. So I did this with three conductor wire and that three conductor wire, you can see I used the black and the red and I did not use the white. The black one is hot all the time. The red one is the one that switched. That's what goes down here to this receptacle down the bottom. But the white one is a neutral and it's actually connected down here, but it doesn't connect to anything up here. Now, why would I do that? Why would I run an extra neutral and pay for that copper when I'm not using it? And number two, why would I connect it down here? Well, let me try and explain. Now, the first scenario here is a smart switch. This happens to be Insteon, but you can do this with Wi-Fi switches. You can do it with uh, Z-Wave, Zigbee, you name it. But the thing about this switch is that it requires a neutral. That's what the white wire is right here. That's a neutral. You can see the black one here is the one that's hot all the time. That is the line. The red one here is labeled load. And when I touch this and put it on, the light goes on. So that's scenario number one is a smart switch. Now, scenario number two is if I want to put in an outlet here, I can use a combo switch. This still works that light, but it also has power on the outlet all the time. And you can see that by these two green lights right here, that means it's wired correctly. I could only do that because I have a neutral on the side over here. And you can see the black wire is the hot, the red wire is the one that goes to the light. The ground is on there as well. I could only do that because there's a neutral wire there. Now this next scenario is one that I explained in that original video. The reason why I wanted a neutral there was because I could attach something else to this. Like for example, I put a new light up here and I ran another piece of 14-2 wire here. And to have that light go on, I need a neutral to close the circuit. So now I put this switch back but I also made it so that both of these things go on. The light goes on and the outlet goes on at the same time. Now, the way I did that is I have the black wire here. This is the hot and it goes to the switch. And the other side of the switch is this red wire. This pigtail comes out to this Wago connector and that connects the original red wire, which goes down to my outlet below. But it also has this black wire that goes up to the light up there. So now when you turn on the switch, the power goes to both of these devices, down to the outlet and up to that light as well. So hopefully I've convinced you that it is a worthwhile investment to put three conductor wire to all of your switches. You never know when you're gonna need a neutral in a switch box going forward. So it's best to have it there, and I'm sorry, it's best to have it connected too, so you don't have to go searching for it if it's just a dead line somewhere. Capping it off, leave it in the box, future use, and you'll thank me for it someday. Hopefully this convinced you. If it did, give me a thumbs up. If you still disagree, leave me a comment down below and I will be happy to debate it with you. But thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. If you need shade on your deck or patio this summer, check out Toya Grid Pergola Kits. You source the lumber locally and can assemble this modular system in as little as 30 minutes. Check the video description for links to videos and more information about Toya Grid.